Expect romantic surprises like you've never seen before, breakdowns and breakthroughs in art and beauty, and exciting opportunities to revolutionize your connections as Venus opposes Uranus between Saturday, October 12th and Thursday, October 17th. Let's take a closer look and break it down for all 12 signs. My name is Anastasia, I'm a traditional Western astrologer specializing in natal relationship and predictive readings. If you enjoy my work, please take a few seconds of your time to leave me a like, a comment, please subscribe and press that notification bell or watch another one of my videos. All of that helps. You also have a little option to say thank you by buying me a tea, a coffee, a croissant or anything else your heart desires. Thank you so much for that. Before we dive in, if you have important questions, you have a birthday coming up, or you just had one, or in general you want to know what the next year has in store for you, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. I also do relationship readings, there are shorter durations, and a lot of things you can find on my website. Additionally, on my website you can find a variety of creations that I made. There are printed options, like notebooks, my planner for 2025, and my candles and oils. In this video, I'd like to highlight my exalted Venus candle. This one smells really magically, smells fresh ocean slash cucumber water like. This one captures the powerful Venus in Pisces, which is Venus in the sign of exaltation. Very romantic, very relaxing, very inspirational and creative. So it can help you soothe your relationship, soothe your heart and connect with the deeper wealth um, of like inspiration and romance within you. I highly recommend this for anyone born with their Venus in the sign of fall or detriment, the signs Venus struggles in, which are Virgo, Scorpio, and Aries. We are currently in the Venus and Scorpio period, so this could be a perfect remedy for that as well. If your natal Venus is in the dark house, 6th, 8th, or 12th, if it's in a square or opposition to Saturn, Mars, Uranus, or Pluto, this could be a really great choice for you. As well as you were, as well, if you were born with Venus retrograde, this is my choice for anyone who was born with Venus uh, retrograde. I feel like I feel like I lost the track of what I was saying for a second. Okay, so we're talking in this video about Venus and Scorpio opposite Uranus in Taurus. This has been happening pretty much once a year as Venus opposes Uranus because Venus takes about a year to make a full circle and Uranus has been in Taurus since 2018 or 19. So it's been a while. Venus is the planet of attraction. It represents our desires. It represents our magnetic qualities how do we manifest things what do we find attractive what do we what do we find interesting in scorpio venus craves depth it craves um true connection raw intimacy it wants to be adored it wants the partner to obsess over it because that is the kind of love venus and scorpio provides Venus faces off with Uranus. Uranus is in Taurus. Uranus in Taurus is all about shaking up our foundations, shaking up our resources, shaking up our values, money, living situation, anything that we hold on to or we need in order to feel stable. So the two facing off will likely bring some kind of surprises, developments, and shakeups that affect your desires, that affect your relationships. It's like the moment the um veil falls off and you see the truth so this opposition is exact at 6 21 p.m eastern time zone on monday october 14th you start to feel it about three days before three days after so you know i'm calling it from saturday october 12th until thursday october 17th the exact opposition is happening at 26 degrees 30 minutes of scorpio and taurus so you're going to feel it especially strongly if you have planets or angles like your ascendant, descendant, midheaven, and your IC between 23 and 29 degrees fixed signs, and those are Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. If you want to know specifically what this means for you, you can book a reading on my website. I am recording this video ahead of time, so I will not be taking bookings in October because I'll be away. 
Um, so you may have to navigate that there are some delays in my bookings. But it's still, you know, it's never a bad time to consult an astrologer. November is as good as October. So, you know, what can this signify, right? Uranus brings a shakeup. Uranus is a lightning strike in the middle of the dark night. Everything seems beautiful. Uranus strikes, strikes striking the lightning and you realize that there's a third person in the room. So very literally in a relationship, Venus opposite Uranus can reveal that there is a third party situation present. It doesn't have to be as dramatic, but there might be some type of uh, secret coming to light. You discover your partner uh, spent money that you were saving for a trip on a car or something. Um, maybe you realize that there is some kind of wound still affecting your relationship. Maybe there is an opportunity, you know, your partner tells you that they want to try something in the bedroom and you're like, this makes me feel uncomfortable. So powerful revelations that test your relationships and either help you get closer and transform and grow closer. And this will test how strong your relationship actually is or a relationship that is built on a flawed foundation will potentially fall apart. Could be a great transit for sexual exploration. We gotta, you know, we gotta think of the context this is happening in. There is also a trine to Mars in Cancer, 21 degrees, 33 minutes Cancer into Neptune in Pisces, 2753. So there is like, Venus is making those trines, right? Right, Uranus will be making sextiles to, to Mars and to Neptune. So, but there is, there is that supportive energy. There is that, forgiving, loving, spiritual, soulful energy. So perhaps you find out something or something tests your relationship, but you grow closer through it. If you're single, Venus opposite Uranus can be a surprising thing. You go out and you, uh, you fall in love with someone or you spend the night with someone doing things that are out of character romantically, doing things that are out of character when it comes to your style changing your look, changing your wardrobe, experimenting with your uh, style, with your design, with your home decor, anything like that is possible too. Watch out for making sort of very like reckless decisions when it comes to your look. I wouldn't shave your head if you've always had long hair, maybe wait a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't rush to spend ten thousand dollars on a bag that looks quirky and amazing so try to be mindful but it could be it could really be a great transit to try something new and do something out of character something fun and exciting so before we dive into the rising sign horoscopes like i said if you're looking for a personal reading book it on my website anastasiadoesastrology.com you can also check out the variety of candles i have on there you can order a planner planners and notebooks ship um you know they ship throughout october even though i'm away because they are fulfilled by a printing company so that makes it easier Okay, so let's let's dive into the horoscopes, but in case I haven't mentioned, you can find all of the things I offer on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. I know I mentioned it, I wasn't sure if I said the website or not. So starting with an Aries rising, if you are an Aries rising, Venus in your eighth house will oppose Uranus in the second. And here you're dealing with a surprising financial windfall or a surprising spending. Um, affecting your plans with someone else. Uranus in the second could be like, oh, I finally get this payout and now I have money to spend on a trip, on a business, on a course about Reiki that I've wanted to take. There might be major sort of disagreements involving finances, involving resources, especially if you're in a relationship. Um, you know some kind of some kind of situation affecting your scholarship affecting your inheritance affecting your resources that comes out of um like i don't know uranus in the second can reveal your spending habits if there is anything that can be improved and then let's say you're applying for like a loan and then uranus in the second 
is your personal finances not being in good condition and like the loan gets rejected but also conflicts in relationships involving involving money venus rules your second house of personal resources your seventh house of relationships so i can very much see this as like disagreements around money but also maybe conflicts of values you value one thing you value independence and your partner values spending all the time together or you value having separate bank accounts and your partner wants to have a joint bank account and then you need to navigate tensions around that if you're looking for a personal reading, book one on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. I'd be happy to talk about your relationship, your year to come, or other things, your natal chart. If you are a Taurus rising, Venus in your seventh house will oppose Uranus in the first. And here we have you being the source of change. You are seeking independence. You are breaking away from the norm. You're acting somehow unconventional. And yeah unconventionally i guess uranus in the first because it's taurus there might be changes to your look maybe you decide to shave your head even though i told you not to <laughs> but maybe you decide to shave your head or maybe you decide to relocate or maybe you announce that you are starting a school a yoga school and then that somehow might affect your relationship your need for freedom will encourage change in relationships there might also be a sense of like you know with uranus in the first if you're in a relationship that feels like it's suffocating uranus in the first opposite venus in the seventh would literally be like okay i'm out of here i'm gonna go travel the world i'm gonna go do my own thing if you are in a relationship that is strong uranus in the first might invite you to figure out how you can both be in a relationship both get that sort of satisfaction and pleasure from true human connection but also pursue your dreams also be that source of change uranus in the first can also be an invitation for you to do work that is humanitarian that serves people somehow that you know improves the world venus rules your first and your six houses too so um once again sort of questions of identity and questions of like health work service um maybe even changes there maybe you're quitting your job and that affects your finances and who pays for what like your partner now has to be the sole source of financial support let me know how this resonates if you're looking for more book a reading on my website anastasiadoesastrology.com for the beautiful Gemini risings, we have Venus in the 6th house opposite Uranus in the 12th. Venus in the 6th really wants to handle work matters, connect with colleagues, maybe have a better flow, enjoy life a little bit more. And then Uranus in the 12th creates some kind of glitch in the matrix, right? Uranus in the 12th could bring up a um, mental health problem, like a sense of burnout. It could bring up a breakthrough in therapy, some type of important revelation. It can also suggest that there are things outside of your control that are either mental or spiritual, or maybe they involve other people that are affecting your everyday life. This transit to me feels like needing to balance your mental health with your physical health and needing to make sure that you're not neglecting one over the other. There might also be with Uranus in the 12th, there might be something from the past, some kind of, you know, like fear or, or panic attack, an anxiety attack, like even a bad habit, something popping up that is affecting your life. Uranus in the 12th could be, yeah, like all of this, I think it will, what Uranus in the 12th will do is it will likely reveal self-defeating tendencies, bad habits, past issues, unhealed wounds, and it will feel frustrating, but it will also encourage you to heal those. There might also be with Uranus in the 12th, there might also be challenges involving foreign lands, um, healing work, imagination, projects and things like that. If you're curious to know more, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. 
If you are a Cancer rising, Venus is currently in your fifth house and she will oppose Uranus in the 11th. So Venus also rules your fourth and the 11th. And in the fifth house, she wants to have a good time. She's in her joy. She wants to uh, date, create, have fun. She's very like, you know, it's, it's very much about like personal pleasure. It's about having a good time, doing things that make you happy. And for some people, it will be going out dancing. For some people, it will be about spending time with children. For others, it will be spending time at home or, you know, what, whatever, whatever makes your soul happy, spending time with your significant other. And then Uranus in the 11th suggests some kind of surprise, some type of like development involving friends, some type of disruption, surprises in, in friendships or even like your social commitments, your social plans, right? Uranus in the 11th could be a, a conflict with a friend. It could be a surprise that comes from a friend, like your friend tells you something that affects your relationship with your significant other. Like they tell you, hey, I think the way he talked to your mother is unacceptable and you go into this whole like spiral of like, is that true? Can something be changed? So the surprise from like friendships can be negatively affecting you. There might also be perhaps some kind of opportunity to maybe pursue a new dream, to join a new group, to give back to the world somehow that perhaps makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable or makes you feel a little uneasy. Some type of shake up, even like a friend telling you that, hey, there is um, like, I don't know, maybe a friend points something out about you, about your behavior, about like how you give up on your friends the moment a romantic interest walks into the picture and it feels disruptive, but it can also be quite eye-opening. If you're looking for more book or reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com, also highly recommend my Moon and Cancer candle. I still have a few of these left. This is perfect for you guys. It's very soothing, very relaxing, very helpful when you feel anxious or stressed. If you are the lovely Leo rising, Venus in your fourth house opposes Uranus in the 10th. And your mental peace, your sense of comfort, your relationship with family, your home life gets disrupted by a shakeup in your career, by a professional opportunity that takes you far away, potentially. Um, some type of surprise, liberation, freedom in the professional sector is very much represented by Uranus in the 10th maybe you get a chance to work from home. And now with Venus in the fourth, you need to figure out how to separate your time with family from work. Or there is some kind of disruption in the fourth, right? Uranus in the 10th can also be like uh, a job opportunity that calls you to be away from home for six months at a time. And that also affects things because Venus in the fourth like Venus really wants to be cozy stay at home connect with family and then Uranus comes in and maybe there is like a crisis at work that takes you out that like sends you to work over like on the weekend then you would rather not be there and look at this you know stay flexible and look at this as an opportunity to potentially put up better boundaries and innovate your work life if you feel like things have been really frustrating and you don't want to do the same job anymore or you're ready for change maybe this is the final drop that you get before you transform something if you're looking for more book a reading on my website anastasiadoesastrology.com i'd be happy to talk about your natal chart your year to come or your relationship now, if you are the lovely Virgo rising, we have Venus in the third house opposite Uranus in the ninth. And here we have some type of disruption involving education, involving travel, legal matters, writing, publishing, teachers, mentors, some type of disruption that might also affect your beliefs, maybe some sort of ins like download or something happening in if you work in education, something like, you know, there is some sudden change that puts you in power or some kind of sudden change that requires you to work more that affects your everyday life. Venus in the third wants to have fun, connect with siblings, enjoy the neighborhood, go out to sort of 
a bar, eat delicious food, um, explore creative projects, and then Uranus in the ninth suggests the disruption of that, right? Like there is, like I said, maybe a legal matter you need to address. Maybe your editor sends you your novel back and now you had these plans to go out, but you have to stay home and work on the manuscript or something. Or maybe there is like maybe your child's principal calls and you need to go to school. So there is a lot of possibilities of disruptions to your everyday life. And the invitation is, of course, to stay flexible, to uh, try to work through these things and look at them as maybe eye-opening opportunities to change your schedule, to get some help if you need help, and to make improvements. And Uranus in the ninth can also be an invitation to like think differently about things because ninth house is your beliefs and guiding principles. And so if things don't go your way, let's say there is like a travel delay or you get put on a different flight or you have to stay, I don't know, some kind of travel fiasco or challenge. Notice how you think about things. Like try to realize that some of your thoughts are not helpful and maybe try to reframe them. If you're looking for more, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. If you are the lovely Libra rising, Venus in your second house will oppose Uranus in the eighth house. And here we have your finances, your values, your resources being affected by what is going on in the house of partners money, in the house of partnerships, in the house of debts, taxes, loans, mortgage inheritance. So with inheritance, maybe you get an inheritance, right? Maybe it's like a positive disruption. You get a bunch of money. But more likely than not, that could be a sign of some type of challenging situation, right? Like there's a bill you forgot to pay that affects your finances. There is a tax payment that you need to save for. There is some kind of difficulty, even like disagreement with your significant other, because here we're literally looking at like my values versus their values. Disagreement with a partner, it could be a romantic partner, it could be your business partner, it could be a friend, some kind of challenge around money, around like your vision of the future. And of course, this will be revealing, right? Like Uranus in the eighth will be very eye-opening. It's likely to show you what you need to work on, what you need to work through. It doesn't have to be like a bad thing, but it could reveal that maybe there are some aspects of your relationship that you need to talk about, that you need to negotiate. It doesn't have to just be money, but it could be like values on, you know, different views on parenthood, different views on retirement and things like that. And Venus rules your first house of identity, so it may feel very personal. It may feel like the situation that involves money is somehow reflective on who you are. So welcome fears welcome things that bubble up to the surface and try to transform and be honest so some some of the anastasia advice if you're looking for more book a reading on my website anastasiadoesastrology.com i'd be happy to look at your chart your year to come your relationship and more if you are the beautiful scorpio rising venus is currently in your first house and she will oppose uranus in the seventh so, you know, this is a transit you've dealt with before. Like I said, it happens pretty much almost every year around this time, October, November. You can look back at last year. Were there any disruptions in relationships, any surprises? Venus in the first is all about like you investing in yourself, taking care of your look, enjoying life, being a peacemaker, starting creative projects. And then Uranus in the seventh suggests some type of surprise coming from a partner, some type of uh, secret coming to light, some type of opportunity to innovate a relationship. Uranus in the seventh could be a partner getting a unique job opportunity or a partner telling you <clears throat> that they want to open the marriage. I feel like that's like, you know, it doesn't have to be like explicitly sexual, but something like maybe you discover something about their past or their fears and that makes you feel uncomfortable but then it makes your relationship closer 
I think this this one is a very romantic similarly for Taurus rising so I think in the long run it's going to test how strong your relationship is Uranus in the seventh could also be a sudden fling a sudden like spark of interest that you get involved in and then maybe that affects your peace of mind a little bit because it's not just the seventh house is not just about romance there might also be like a unique business opportunity that you're considering or a unique development in your other important one-on-one -on -one relationship that needs to be addressed stay flexible look for ways to work through things look for opportunities to innovate and every frustrating transit is a chance to learn and grow if you're looking for more guidance book a reading on my website anastasiadoesastrology.com i'd be happy to look at your natal chart your relationship your year to come and more if you are a sagittarius rising venus in your 12th house will oppose uranus in the sixth and here venus in the 12th wants to rest she wants to maybe go on a romantic retreat get away um date someone maybe in private in secret and then uranus in the sixth house brings like a glitch at work that affects your peace like you had a plan to travel uranus in the sixth there is something breaks down something breaks down in your home a family member gets sick um you know there might be some kind of like logistical issue that needs to be addressed a health like a health situation or some kind of bad habit catching up with you and i wonder with this transit i wonder if those disruptions are actually supposed to remind you of taking better care of yourself like you know uranus in the sixth house could be a health issue that affects your romantic plans or your creative project or your plans to get away but maybe it's like an opportunity to rethink how you take care of yourself to rethink how you handle work duties to rethink when you say yes to certain projects and when you don't say yes right so uranus in the six could offer you a chance to liberate yourself from something maybe you decide to let go of the job and relocate to a different place and then it creates a sense of like instability but also excitement if you're looking for more lovely sagittarius rising book a reading on my website anastasiadoesastrology.com i'd be happy to look at your natal chart your year to come your relationship and more if you are the beautiful capricorn rising venus in your 11th house will oppose uranus in the fifth and here we have Venus in the 11th is all about friendships, social plans, relationships with other people, your community. Venus in the 11th suggests that you are in this place of networking, socializing. You are kind of connecting with a lot of people. You're focused on making peace on some level. And then Uranus in the 5th might bring a creative disagreement maybe there is something like you are trying to maintain peace but there is something involving love um maybe you date a friend's ex or something something involving sex like a sudden you know fling that affects your friendship or affects your plans with a friend something involving pregnancy getting pregnant or a creative breakthrough might affect those like social plans and also i think like shakeups in friendships shakes shakeups in your social dynamics that come out of that need to be free to do your own thing are also quite possible like a friend you know maybe a friend finds out that you have been dating someone they don't approve of and like yes it's uncomfortable and it's frustrating and maybe you don't want your friend to disapprove of you but perhaps it's a chance to show you that you don't need the approval of others that you don't need to be defined by what other people think of you that you should be you and you should you know have like duty to make yourself happy versus worry what other people might think of you of course don't do something that will disrupt the flow in the world and make other people unhappy but don't let other people's opinions of you affect who you are you know who you want to be 
you're looking for a personal consultation, you want me to answer your, your deep questions, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. Now to the lovely Aquarius rising. Venus in your 10th house will oppose Uranus in the 4th. And you have a disruption to your professional life, to your public status, to your career that come from home, family, and living situation. Your mother announce, comes to your job and tells everyone your dirty laundry. <laughs> or there is some type of, some type of situation happening in the home, you know, like um, cat ruins your pillowcases or something, or something that like requires you to leave everything and go handle work matters. Sorry, go handle family matters. Um, maybe, you know, maybe something is happening in the home that is frustrating. Uranus in the fourth can also be like a sudden development where maybe you need to leave the place, the property you're at right now. Maybe there is like, um, I don't know, they're doing some kind of um, piping work, some type of work on your building and you need to leave and then that messes up your schedule, your work routine and everything. And in a way, I think this will encourage you to examine where are you being too rigid and of course encourage you to be more flexible. But maybe also if something does come up around your family being too intrusive um, or your living situation being too unstable, maybe this is also an invitation to change things, to move out of the house that gives you troubles or to set better boundaries with family. Even honestly, Uranus in the fourth could be like a childhood trauma coming at you at the time when you least expect it, when you're at a work meeting. And so maybe there is a breakthrough that you need to go to therapy and you need to invest some time into healing your inner child. Let me know how this resonates. If you're looking for more, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. I do natal chart, relationship and predictive readings, and I'd be happy to look at your chart. If you are the lovely Pisces rising, Venus in your ninth house will oppose Uranus in the third. Very literally, this feels like some kind of like logistical issue, a car breaking down while you are on your way to a legal meeting, um, a subway breaking down, a delay, some kind of like exchange, some kind of conflict on the train with a sibling, some kind of ideological disagreement. Um, a conversation that is maybe eye-opening but frustrating nonetheless. Venus in the ninth um, for the last few weeks is a sign that you are interested in going on romantic trips, you're interested in learning, you're interested in growing. You know, of course, there might be, if you're a lawyer, Venus in the ninth might suggest that there's more sort of legal matters, legal proceedings. Um, it might also suggest that you feel inspired, that you're writing, like a lot of your focus is currently on like higher mind, higher ideas, maybe new ideas. And then Uranus in the third is like that literal like light bulb bursting or a car breaking down and that takes you out of it because it reminds you that you can't have, you can't have good things. <laughs> no, but like you can't have, um, like, you know, sometimes you need to attend to the minutia of life. You need to handle sort of matters that are every day that you need to attend to, like your car, your insurance payment, your duties to your siblings or something before you're able to have um, a good flow or before you're able to pursue certain ideas. There might also be opportunities, I think, you know, like if you feel like your schedule is too difficult, too busy, and there is like, you're taking too much and other people expect too much of you and you end up getting in a fight with someone, pay attention. Maybe it's a sign that you need to unload things and take it easy and, and find better balance in your life. As always, if you're looking for a personal consultation, you have important questions you want to ask me, book a reading on my website, AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. And I hope you enjoyed this video. This is another one of those that's recorded way ahead of time because October is my away month. Um, I'm doing a very exciting thing as you're watching this video most likely. I will tell you about it a little bit later. Maybe I already told you because I'm not telling it about you. 
anyways um more on that in a little bit i hope you have a great venus uranus opposition i hope it brings a lot of breakthroughs and no, no breakdowns i'll talk to you soon if you haven't subscribed yet do that now okay bye